Virgil! Ah. This place is a bit of a come down, isn't it? You ought to see what's going up in its place. It's like the fucking Playboy Mansion. You'd love it, Harry. Jesus, when I organise a meet, it's at a restaurant or some fucking thing. Don't I even get a drink? Not since a boy put a rocket through our front door. You did shoot me in the head. I'm sorry, says who? I'm Noel. We tried to tell him it wasn't us, Harry, but he's a fuckwit. He's out of prison. Yeah, we heard. They tried to knock him. Couldn't stay there. He's leaving the country. You'll never see him again. Yes, we will, Harry. We had a deal. He broke it, though. He takes his medicine. He's my son. And I'm asking. You're asking. I'm over a barrel. That doesn't happen very often. So, name your price. I've got pretty much everything I want, Harry. Except maybe the title to your house. What about that? You want my house? All right. <laughs> what do I look like? A fucking real estate agent? Once upon a time, you could have killed me, Harry. You didn't. You showed better judgment. Something that no one has got. You're walking out of here today in one piece, and as far as I'm concerned, after that, the debt's paid. But we catch up with Noel. Well, he's a dead man, Harry. That's just the way it is. They do. Pretty bloody silly putting yourself out there like that. Just playing reckless. Don't try to puzzle out exactly which insult's the reason you died up in this chair. Killing Bonnie. Trying to keep Mac Boydie. Whatever. Did you know it's a common logical fallacy? Post hoc, ergo proctor hoc, that one event is the direct cause of a second event. You're here because of your family. You get nothing from me but my family. Well, that's good. Because what happens next in here, it won't be about getting information. What do you want from us? It depends. How much do you love your brother? It's a question. I want you to decide on an amount. So go back home to your family, you put your heads together, and then you come back to me with an offer. What if you don't like the offer? Listen, it's, uh, it's ten past ten now. You got to six o'clock, right? We won't forget this. It's the idea, darling. Oh, by the way, tell Mom that our families are nice and safe, just in case this thing's in a retribution. Six o'clock.